Super Smash Challenge. Hello everybody, I'm your host Fernando and welcome back to Super Smash Challenge, the series where I tell you to do stuff in Smash and I judge all of you hard. Before we move on to this week's challenge, let's go over last week's winners. In third place we have Midnight Zero. This one was cool because it was an offstage kill which stood out enough, but not as much as the top two. In second place we have 8-Bit Sonic 1. This one was great because you had everything timed right and even took into consideration the CPU's getup. And in first place, we have JDT001. What I really liked about this one was from the start of the match, you just went ham on the CPU. Like, you just keep getting onto him, and like, it was pretty crazy. Like, you got really lucky with the 9, too. Like, to get that 9 during that specific moment, that's just perfect. These top three were super difficult to choose from, just because they all had a little something about them that stood out from the rest. Quick shout out to the remaining submissions. In 4th place we have Random Hobo 587 In 4th place we have Link Zelda Games In 6th place we have The Placid Tiger And in 7th place we have Seagamer217 All these guys had pretty basic 1-2 combos which was enough to get a submission but wasn't enough to blast through the competition No pity points once again, y'all just keep on rocking Now that we have that out of the way, let's get on to this week's challenge This week's challenge is Dancing Bane. While playing as Marth on Pokemon Stadium, you must kill a level 9 CPU using Dancing Blade's Spike. The way Dancing Blade works is that you press side B and then use a different directional input in a certain rhythm. If you hit the third input is down, it has a spike. Basically do some flashy stuff and end it with a Dancing Blade Spike. Once again, this week's challenge is based on style. Get a super sick combo and you pretty much got it in the bag. Remember, to get top 3, you must use melee. However, you can still get what I dubbed the pity points and use any Smash game, including Smash 4. You are guaranteed a point, but you have no way of placing top 3. You can submit your attempt by tweeting at me using the hashtag SMASHCHALLENGE through at itskingnando or at fsock, both of which are down in the description, or via YouTube message. Last week's question was, what is the name of the monster in the background of Brainstar Depths? The answer to that is Kraid. He is the monster that moves the stage around like a little casual. Or as the nerds would say, he's Ridley's friend and he's a fucking dragon. Also, shout out to Ben and Nitro for being a bunch of silly gooses in the comment section. This week's question is, what Pokeball Pokemon was cut prior to Melee's release? Leave your answers down in the comment section below, and remember, try to answer from memory. It's a lot more fun that way. I'll see you dudes next time. Peace out, and have a wonderful day.